Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today I'm going to be reacting to a video that our subscribers sent us that is some violent protest against the citizen amendment bill, the cab bill. And if you've seen some of our other videos, we are definitely in favor of it. We support it. We feel like it's one of those things India needs to do to kind of get up more with the developing countries to make people that are illegal accountable. We do it here, or at least we try to do it here as well. You know, you need to know who is in your house, who is eating your food, who's paying taxes, who's not paying taxes. There needs to be a better system to account for these illegals so you don't just have a bunch of people living um, in your country that you don't know their background, you don't know you know, if they're working, how much money, if they're paying taxes, how much food they're eating, if, they're, you know, if they've had any thefts against them. Here in the US, you know, we also have problems with the illegals and trying to either make them legal or trying to um, you know, find them and either send them back or you know, show them the way to become legal. It's one of those things you need to know who's in your house, who's eating your food, if they're killing, you know, your animals, if they're harming you in any way. You need to know, like, you get stopped here by the police, they ask you for ID. If you want to apply for a passport, you need a birth certificate, you need ID. I would need a marriage certificate. I would need, I mean, so many things that you need to prove who you are and you know where you come from and they can pull everything up under the sun on your background but that's how it should be they should know who's living in the country so that things like 9 11 things like 26 11 don't continue to happen you need to have accountability for people especially people that are illegal and either find a way to send them back find a way to make them legal make them accountable and make them productive parts of the, the country to make things better. So we are definitely for the cab bill. Um, if you haven't already seen those, some of our other videos and the Democrats here definitely are against a lot of um, the, not only the cab bill, but um, you know, article 370, um, German Kashmir, there's just been, you know, so many things that they've kind of bashed India on. So we're hoping not to put India in a bad light, but these are the kinds of things that we do not want to see from India. But if you have issues with the cab bill, violence is not the way to go about it. Peaceful protesting, calling Congress, calling your representatives, voting. If, if it's really that horrendous for you to live in India and you hate India so much, pack your bags and apply somewhere else. There's so many other countries that you can live. The country that you live in that feeds you is the country that you should be proud of and that you should defend if somebody comes into your country and says, we are going to take over. Something like September 11th happens, something like 2611 happens. You need to be behind the police, behind the army, behind the government. And if you're not, you need to find a country that you agree with most of what they do and you want to live there and that's where you should go don't violent protest that stuff if it happens here the armies the police are out the army's out guns are wailing i mean this is no joke stuff like this does not happen here very often and when it does it gets nixed fairly quickly so and we didn't vote for trump in this last election and we didn't agree with a lot of the stuff that he has done we don't disagree with everything but we don't agree with a lot and there have been a lot of protests outside the white house peaceful protests a lot of them nobody has to agree with everything the government does there's ways to go about changing the laws changing the rules or finding a place that you want to call home that you want to be proud that is your country and yeah, your country may not do everything you want it to do perfectly all the time, but you need to stand behind it. If there is a war, if there is something that you are going, it's you and the country or nothing, you need to stand behind your country. Country always comes first. Religion, everything else comes second. Country comes first. So let's watch this video.
I can't, this is, I can't believe the police only have sticks. Like, this would never happen here. These rocks are like as big as baseballs. And they're like destroying and standing in the way of the trains. This is not the way you protest. This is just violent and destructive. And there's like little kids too. And are the people on this train responsible for the bill? Or are they just trying to get to work and earn a living safely? This is crazy. I'm telling you, this happens here. The military tanks would be rolling in the streets and people would be locked in their homes. This would not go down like this. This is horrible. Jihad, oh my god. Who he needs to be to leave the country and go next door. There's no way. You're inciting violence on something you can peacefully protest? Jihad. No wonder these people are out with rocks throwing at trains. It's horrible. Inciting violence should be locked up. And rocks. I mean, you can kill people with these size rocks. Not only are you damaging, what are you doing? Is this going to change the bill? Is this going to make you get a good education, a good job? I, I'm going to write, I threw rocks at the police on my resume? If you want to protest, do it in a peaceful manner. This is when the police need guns. This is ridiculous. Yeah, what is this doing for anybody? And majority of them look like Muslims, and people already think, in the West especially, that most of them are terrorists. So this looks like a procession. This is something like you want to peacefully march against the government, this is how you should do it. Not throwing rocks, not inciting violence. This makes me so angry. This is not the India we want to see. And I know there is a peaceful Muslim majority that doesn't agree with this kind of protest. At least I hope so. I feel like the Indian Muslims that have 
talked to us, especially on our channel, have all talked about peace, about India comes first, and not about stuff like this. This is the kind of stuff that has put Muslims in the terrorist act when people think of them. And that's the sad part, because I know there's many, many, many more that aren't. But this kind of stuff, this stuff should not happen. It, here in the US, we had something when I was um, living in LA, the LA riots, and I'm telling you, tankers rolled up in the streets and we were not allowed to go shop to the shops to get food. We were told to stay in our houses until they had the riots under control. This is, and people just did it. Nobody questioned it. You just stayed inside your home until the police and the military took care of the people that were doing stuff like this, throwing rocks, starting fires, breaking windows, trying to hurt police, try to hurt innocent people that aren't even involved in any of this. This is the kind of stuff. So in this is the India that we know wants to become, you know, not, you know, third world country wants to become, you know, like the US, like these big countries, you need in democracy, you need to have this military backing, you need to have, you know, and protests shouldn't be like that either. But the police can't have sticks and then, you know, a shield like that's even Bahubali had a sword. This they need guns, they need to be able to protect themselves and the people. And the funny thing is, is we've just reacted to, you know, Pramila J. Paul and Ilian Omar, and they're talking about the poor Muslims in India and genocide and all this stuff. This is the kind of videos you need to watch because this is the kind of violence that is taking place in India because of some of these things. Instead of peaceful protest, it's destructive. This should not be happening. The peaceful majority Hindus and Muslims that are supporting this bill need to come out and the people that are against it need to find peaceful ways to protest it. We here at the Jan family are for the cab bill, but if you are against it, find a way to call Modi, find a way to email, find a way to get your voice heard. This is not the way to do it. This is not going to get you higher education. This is not going to get you a good job. This is only making your community look like crap. And this is not the way you want it to look. This is not how you want India to be seen on TV right now. And we are hoping, you know, that showing these videos, hopefully there will be a better way for these things to go. There needs to be, you know, either find if you don't like India that much, India is that horrible to you and you have nothing to be proud of, then you need to pack your bags and file to go live in a country that you can be proud of, that you can call home and they will like you as much as you like them. Because if this is how you're treating the country that is feeding you, this is not the country you want to call home. Then you need to find the door and go find a country that you are proud of. And the Indians, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, Christians that are proud Indians support this bill. And if you don't protest it the right way, because this is not the way to do it. This is gonna get people killed, yourself hurt, and that is not how you protest if you don't agree with the government in a democracy. That's not how it goes down. And here it would not go down at all. The forces would come out with their big guns. So I do feel like, especially after the 2611 attacks, and we've done some of that as well, there needs to be some military backing. There needs to be some, the police can't go up to somebody with an AK-47 and a stick in their hand. So things like this need to be, and this was just a couple days ago that they had sticks. So this India needs to bump up that military base, um, not just, you know, with Raphael's, but like with guns and your everyday police officers need to be able to have a gun for stuff like this, not to shoot to kill. But I don't think half of this would happen if there was some fear behind them. That's what I mean. Something like this happened in LA and it didn't go on for very long because when the police couldn't take care of it, they rolled in the army. And I'm telling you, tankers were rolling down the streets, like LA, boulevards. So this 
in order for India to become this great country, and it is becoming a great country, it's, you know, economically and everything, it's just growing so fast and so great. These are the kind of things we need to nix. These are the kind of things you don't want to see. And we support this cab bill and we support India. And um, I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family, Jay Hind.